It's been 500 years since Leonardo da Vinci died, but thanks to a new art installation in Milan, he can still say hello. Here, visitors can see some of his most famous works, but also some of his flights of fancy paddle boats and flying machines. We created this room imagining his flying machines. He designed a lot of different machines, so we created a few of them in 3D that fly over his landscapes, his backgrounds, among which there is his famous landscape of Vinci, the one he painted and drew as a child when he was making his first steps as an artist. Everything is designed to take some of da Vinci's great works, even his sketches and simple ideas, and turn them into multimedia sensory experiences. It's an homage to Leonardo and also our vision of where these multimedia exhibits can go in the future, not only an immersive room, but the creation of different sensory experiences. One of the peculiarities of Leonardo's life was that he left behind so much unfinished work. One researcher says that suggests that the artist, known for being temperamental, may have been suffering from what most people think of as a thoroughly modern malady, attention deficit disorder. Obviously, uh, any viol um, psychiatric diagnosis is difficult to make because we don't have biological markers, but I'm, I'm quite confident that um, ADHD, among all the suggestions that have been made in the past, uh, is, is the most plausible explanations for Leonardo, um, dissipative genius uh, and um, um, erratic behavior. The possibility that Leonardo had ADHD is a hopeful diagnosis because it shows that someone with a learning disability can accomplish a lot. If Leonardo da Vinci had ADHD, anyone can, can have ADHD and uh, anyone is uh, entitled really to um, uh, aspire to achieve what a um, what is their um, potential and what they are, were meant to achieve. Leonardo's work will be on display in Milan through September. Kevin Enix, VOA News.